So in today's session, we will discuss about electrical properties of materials. Okay. So that is basically the fourth module in engineering physics. So you can see the screen. So we'll just discuss only what material on the application together. Then before going to that, the first topic in this is assumption of CFT. Assumption of classical free electron theory. Okay. So we know whatever is there in this already. Assumption already we know it actually. Okay. But for getting the marks, we would write, we would write in such a way that the technical terms should be included in the same. Okay. So I'll write on the first point. The first point is number one, a metal is imagined as a three dimensional array of what ions. Okay. Metal is imagined as three dimensional array of ions. I'll just change the color of this. Yeah. Where there are free moving electrons. Let me just, yeah. Where there are free moving electrons. So, this topic already we know that in a metal there are free moving electrons. So, second point in this is. Second point is these free moving electrons cause conduction. These free moving electrons, these free electrons cause conduction. Or why elect why elect why metals are considered good conductors of electricity? Because there are electrons which moves. So already we know these things. Assumption of classical free electron. Theory. So this is nothing new, but again it has got some defects that will try to prove that this classical free electron theory is wrong also. Okay, so that is in the next part. So this is our second point. So the free electrons causes conductivity. Hence, metals are hence hence metals are good conductors of electricity. That is due to this only. Clear? Yes. Then before moving to the third point, I just wanted to know oh, yeah. There's a term called drift velocity. There's a term called drift velocity. So drift velocity, because the next point is related to drift velocity. So before knowing that, we should know what is drift velocity, right? So drift velocity is nothing but the average velocity. I'll write down in words. The average velocity, correct, of occupied, the average velocity occupied by the electrons by the electrons in the steady state in the steady state in applied electric field in applied electric field the average velocity occupied by the electrons in the steady state in applied electric field this ef is nothing but my electric field electric field this is called drift velocity see but i written here the average velocity of occupied so again in examination if you are writing off or some grammatical error kindly do not scratch it kindly write it as it is now coming to my third point so this is a drift velocity so the third point is nothing but the electric current what is the cause of this electric current correct the electric current the electric current in a metal, correct? In a metal, 
is caused due to drift velocity drift velocity in the sense so the electric current in metal is caused due to drift velocity which means the electrons i'll write in different color the electrons the electrons travel this is very important travel in opposite direction opposite direction to that of to that of electric field electric field to that of electric field okay so that is my third point so i think you are clear with the three points in cft classical free electron theory so the next topic is the next thing is thermal velocity thermal velocity see let's take this electron is here right this is in my electron uh, random once it goes here once it goes here so basically an electron is here sometimes it will be here the random correct this is basically random motion of electron so that we have to keep in mind so what is thermal velocity i'll write down in words correct the velocity of electrons the velocity of electrons in random motion due to thermal agitation is called thermal velocity correct see for example agitation in the sense it's a different word see we also get agitated the angriness correct so we will do things which are out of control that same thing also electron thing but it moves in a zigzag manner or whatever manner so this in a term is called thermal velocity that's all and the next thing is mean free path mean free path correct so mean free path is a very simple thing i'll write down in words so you'll understand the average the average distance the average distance travel by the electrons correct between any two successive collisions successive collisions with the lattice ions with the ions this is called the mean free path the average distance traveled by the electron between any two successive collisions with the ions ions in the sense the other lattice ions before collision next thing is so this is a kind of theoretical thing the next one is temperature temperature dependence on resistivity of the material resistivity of the metal so there is a rule actually i'll write down the rule here mathesen's rule this is the rule okay so i'll tell you what is this mathesen's rule i'll write down now write it down Rho resistivity is equal to rho naught plus rho of 
P. This raw, this term, this is called it P. I think you are able to see it. this raw, this is called my resistivity. Correct? This raw of T, this raw of T is nothing but temperature dependence on the resistivity. And this raw knot, what is the raw knot? This is called the residual resistivity. I'll write it down in words so you'll understand better. Raw knot. Residual. D-U-A-L. Dual. Residual resistivity. This is my temperature. Temperature. Dependence on resistivity. And what is my row? Resistivity of the given material, of the given material. Okay, so this Matheson's rule is very, very important. Okay, and we have to draw a graph of the same. So the graph also is draw it. Let me take a different color to draw. This will be fine. This will be my resistivity. This will be my temperature, which is in Kelvin. So dependence of dependence of temperature, correct? Or raw on temperature on temperature. So this is how it is. Okay. And then you should ask me, see the Matheson's rule is basically what? Rho is equal to rho naught plus rho of t. So what is this rho naught? Correct, this rho naught is nothing but this point. This point is the minimum rho naught. Clear? Yes. This is called the residual resistivity. Residual. Residual in the sense, whatever resistivity is uh, left out. That's it. Residual resistivity. So in our class 12th, we have learned about residual magnetism. So there is a thing about that magnet which the magnetism property, the magnetic property which is left. Even though if you remove the magne, uh, magnetism from the material, but still the amount of magnetic property left. Correct? That residual is nothing. So similarly for resistance also, if you try to remove the complete resistance of that particular material, but still there will be a small amount of resistance left. So that is the limit by raw naught. Now the most important thing in today's thing, I have to disapprove that CFT is wrong, right? Correct? CFT is wrong. But before going to that, I'll just write down one more thing. This is my classical free electron theory. Conductivity. Correct? The sigma is called conductivity. N e square tau by m. This, again, last year, class 12, current electricity chapter, we have learned. N e square tau by m, the derivation. Okay. So, coming to prove that this classical free electron theory is wrong, we have to check it on what? The temperature dependence on electrical conductivity. Temperature dependence on electrical conductivity. Okay. So, experimental nature Correct. Sigma, this conductivity experimental nature, gave me what? It is inversely proportional to temperature. It is inversely proportional to temperature. Okay. But in the classific in the classic free electron theory, sigma according to my classic CFET. It is what? 
proportional to 1 by root of temperature. Experimental is giving me only 1 by T. Classical CFET is what classical free electron theory is giving me what? 1 by root T. So whatever I get through the experiment, it is correct. It is the correct one, not through any derivation thing. Yes. So hence it's clearly stating that the conductivity, the classical free electron theory is wrong in many aspects. So that's about this first session. So any doubt is there, I'll come and help you out.